Hello and welcome to my Twin Flame journey. I am Shy, and this is going to be the November reading for the Divine Masculine and the sign of Capricorn. Please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus, as that'll help give you more messages. Also, Keep in mind that masculine and feminine stand more for energies than gender. So you may be a masculine who resonates with the feminine, divine feminine reading. So whichever one resonates with you, that's your message. And also please like, subscribe, and share at the end if you will. Um, It's like I paused, like I said, I could feel something was coming. And there it is. Let it. Let us wait for the beep to go by. At least a beep. Was it earlier yesterday? Some some crazy person was going down the street cursing the high heaven. I was like, oh, thank God I wasn't recording a reading. <laughs> We're hearing that in the background. People are like, what the heck? But let's see. What you'll be dealing with for the month is happiness or hoping for happiness. And then we have secrets. So this is either if someone's revealing it to you or you're wanting to reveal it to them. And then we have wealth, which could mean money or it could just mean, you know, something that we feel abundant in. And then we have barrier. Area we have Donati, which is like the wealth, because it can mean money, but also can mean something that we value. That's why I said here you feel abundant and that you melancholia. This is on barrier. So maybe, you know, barrier is getting money and there's some depression around that. But the barrier again is money and revealing something. Um, Obviously, if there's melancholia there, then happiness, you know, it is. It's to get out of some depression here. Wanting happiness, because melancholia is sadness. Like happiness is a barrier. Do choose some secrets, perhaps. And maybe we didn't value someone. Happiness. We got wanting things to turn around for the better. We got Fortuna. Ooh. 
secrets. And we got left suburbia, which is arrogance and ego. Ego, not just like, you know, thinking you're all that. Being egotistical. But it's also, sorry, it's also like, you know, being in the ego. Whether that be fear, anger, resentment, you know, all just in the emotions of the ego. So there could be a fear of, you know, saying something, revealing a secret, feeling depressed about it, and feeling like you want to turn things around. You know, maybe again that you didn't value someone. Secrets, we got La Alegria, which is like joyous times, happy times, with people that we care about. Maybe again, this is, you know, wanting to reveal that, like a change of heart kind of thing. Like finding, realizing the value of somebody. Again, this could be you or the other person. This is the overall what you're dealing with. Secrets. We got Viaggio. This could be moving, like traveling, or this could just be moving forward, moving on, or being victorious. It kind of reminds me of the Six of Wands, but it also reminds me of the Chariot. Let's see if we get more clarifications as we go along. How you're thinking and feeling about it is the lovers, so it's the relationship. You're thinking about it or trying to make a decision. It could be a head or heart decision. Like what to do. It's the best thing to do. We have storm. This is like wanting to weather the storm. Wanting there to be peace. We have solitude. This is like it could be not wanting to be alone or it's you know, wanting to go within and reflect and try to figure out a way how to rectify the situation. Solitude, we have Donna Maritara, which is the married lady. So again, it could be you not wanting to be alone, you want to be with this person, or you're trying to just like go within and think about, you know, this relationship, this person, like how to change things. Solitude, yeah, trying to look towards the future, trying to see the long term, or try to have a bright outlook. Again, wanting peace, wanting to weather the storm. And how you should think and feel is growth. The lady. So this is either, you know, they're saying for you to use your intuition or, you know, look at the growth that's been had in this relationship or to work towards growth in this relationship with this lady. Now this could be, you know, again, intuition or you, the person that you're dealing with. You know, she can be a wife, a mother, just like, it's also the feminine, the divine feminine. It doesn't say divine feminine, but it says, you know, feminine or epitome of feminine. Feminine <laughs> in the little book. Um, with a potential for growth with this person. Let's see.
growth, we got strategize, militare, something that's difficult. Or challenging. which is like the death card, you know, transformation, but necessary, you know. Fortuna, so it's like you got the death card and the wheel of fortune. <laughs> if I, you know, if I attribute them to like how the traditional tarot deck is. Um, And then superbia again, which is them could be telling you, you know, to get out of your fears or your worries or your shadow side, um, be up for the challenge, or you know, figure out a way to, you know, transform the situation so it can turn around. You know, if this is a karmic wheel, like the wheel of fortune, there's a lot of like, it's like the wrapping up of cycles now. The lady, we got secrets. So again, either you're needing to reveal some secrets. Because you got secrets twice. Well, I was telling you to use your intuition in regards to some secrets being revealed. Celebrating or reuniting with people. Let's see. Your challenge lesson or obstacle is deception. So I don't know if this is stop fooling oneself or revealing one's deceptions with these secrets, maybe. And we have wisdom. And then we have troubleshoot. So troubleshoot can be somebody who's also deceptive, um, but it's also, you know, to troubleshoot, to try to figure out a way. Apply the wisdom in regards to these deceptions, or what to do in regards to these deceptions. That's the challenge. You need to figure it out. That's why you got solitude, You're trying to figure it out. Get through this barrier so growth can be had, probably within yourself, mostly, because doing this process, that triggers your own growth, your own spiritual growth. Troubleshooter, we have Kaza, which is, you know, a living situation, and then we have Falsita. Well, it's, I mean, there's somebody that you were living with. Then you have Donna Mai Tata, um, which is a married lady. I think that came up. Wisdom, love. So figure out these lies and deception in your living situation. Apply your wisdom in regards to love. 
probably like what's been learned here. That's the challenge, lesson, or obstacle, and how to move through it. We have ending, talent, and heartbreak, which is again probably trying to figure out a way. This talent is trying to figure out a way to express oneself. Um, in regards to the heart, heartbreak that's been had and the ending, whatever this deception is, this relationship. I think it's your needing to reach out to the other person. Talent, we got again love. Figure out a way to express Ooh, your love. Your regrets. Whatever it is, deception, secrets. Talent, we got superbia again, which is going to begin you maybe need to get out of ego and then look towards the future and, and you got not be in despair. Again, the heartbreak. So I don't know if you're all in your woes. <laughs> in regards to what's transpired here, and they're telling you to get out of that. Use your wisdom, troubleshoot, try to figure out a way how to make this turn around. Seeing what you hope is bad news. So maybe you're hoping that, you know, it won't be bad news. And we have abundance. And then we have women of the world. So this is somebody who's at a distance from you. Or somebody who's, you know, very independent. Or you view as independent, sophisticated. Um, so I guess you, you're hoping, you know, that it's not bad news. You're hoping that abundance can be had with this person who, again, might be at a distance from you. Woman of the world, we have Lamika, so somebody that you consider a confidant, you know, a best friend. Again, you're trying to look in the long term, have a bright outlook. And you fear brown haired woman says her there won't be any new beginnings because she's still not happy with you. <laughs> yeah, brown haired woman and dark haired woman, new beginnings in the middle, it's like she's not having it. That's what that's what you fear. But let us see what the universe says. It says give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And there's also codependency here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I don't know if you've got some addictions, you're, you know, tipping into vino too much or, or something, or there's something. It could even be this, this relationship, you know, um, that addictive kind of quality. Maybe you need to ease up on the energy a little bit, or... I don't know if you're in any codependent situations, but some kind of addictions are affecting your your love life. And then we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to you. So I think I was, what's up with this codependency? 
Well, so they, is that a warning for you not to be codependent or this person's codependent? I don't know. And that's part of the karma that's needing to be dealt with here. Let's see, codependency. Codependency. Why codependency? Some foolish choices. Some pleasure seeking. Pleasure seekers, you know, that can be like addictions. Or something. Codependency. Codependency, you got Lanemika, which is the female foe, someone who's not, not too happy with you. And then we have Lamanio, which is the relationship, a strong bond, union, marriage. We got Ladonna Servizio, which can be an actual person, as, as, you know, the helper, someone to help you. So that's where codependency comes in. Maybe you're in a codependent relationship. We have vivid in the video someone who's you know regretful of the past or stuck in the past. And then we have Donna Maritata, which is a married lady. So again, you might be in a codependent situation. I don't know if you're trying to leave that or. There's, there's some regrets here about some foolish choices that maybe, again, maybe you entered into a codependent kind of relationship. Hmm. You know what it is. <laughs> if you resonate with it, you know what it is. When we have here marriage. I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself, and my partner. And then you have blessings. Today I count my blessings, small and large, and I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. And then you have health. My prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered. You know, this could fall into the codependency. Like I said, too, too much dipping into vino, drowning one's sorrows, or turning to other substances. You know, they're wanting you to pay attention to your health, your emotional health, your physical health, your mental health. And then we have honesty. I am in touch with my true feelings regarding this situation. And also maybe needing to be honest. I got some secrets and all that up there. And then we have vulnerability. Yeah, you're needing to open up and reveal whatever it is that you're needing to reveal. Meet Shadow. This little kitten hasn't had... Oh, I'm not. I have my glasses on. Wait a minute. <laughs> I can't see. Especially because I'm so tired. Yes, I'm yawn. I'm sorry. This little kitten hasn't had the easiest time. You might see him peeking out of a dark alley or quickly slipping out of sight in an abandoned building. What he really needs is some love and nurturing. Don't you just want to take him home and cuddle him? Well, that is what he wants, too, though he may not show it at first. Shadow is the part of us that has ever been afraid, defensive, lonely, hurt, or angry. He has our deepest vulnerabilities. He is the place inside that needs love more than anything. And you are the one to give that love. Look at those eyes. You know you want to. <laughs> so maybe it's even you know, loving yourself and also, you know, opening up to this person. You know, so healing can happen here. And letting go of our fears and we have trust meet Safi trust begins as an agreement she makes with the flame in her heart she agrees to let it guide her even when it beckons her deep into the night forest of the unknown when she trusts the darkness is illuminated and the forest sparkles with her heart light 
She may not know exactly where the path leads, but she trusts the enchantment of a journey born of intuition. What you truly seek awaits you. Trust yourself. Step into the forest and begin your wild quest towards the longings of your soul. Oh, that's cute. I love these cards. Look at this. So cute. You should probably hold them up closer so you can see. Well, my lovely, I wish you love and light. I wish you well. I wish you healing. I wish you luck in regards to this and anything else you might be going through. Um, and I said all the stuff from the beginning. I always forget because I usually say it at the end, but I says maybe I have to say it all first. It's better. But then I forget. <laughs> if I've said it all, if I forgot I did. Especially because I'm so tired. But anywho, until next time, my dears. Take care. Bye-bye.